be a new California gold rush, we're talking about lithium, a crucial metal set to be extracted from underneath California's Salton Sea. It's key for electric car batteries and as demand skyrockets for electric vehicles, there's hope a new lithium rush could save the dying Salton Sea and supercharge America's EV industry. Mike Valerio takes us to the desert for a closer look. It looks like a shimmering sea that was once called a miracle in the desert. The Salton Riviera beside the blue Salton Sea. A Hollywood hideaway three hours from Los Angeles where Sinatra and the Rat Pack played. But now, after decades of drought and farm runoff raising the water's salinity, the Salton Sea today is surrounded by dust and decay. The hope is that the chronic unemployment and poverty down here can be alleviated. This gurgling and sputtering from underground gases potentially heralds a new beginning. These structures are called mud volcanoes. Geologist Michael McKibben explains deep underneath us where two tectonic plates are pushing past each other, magma heats groundwater. And within that salty water called brine, minerals dissolve, including the valuable metal lithium. Solid lithium is essential for electric vehicle batteries. Right now, most lithium battery production is in China, but experts say the Salton Sea region could provide enough lithium to move the U.S. toward lithium independence, supercharging our EV transition. Our intention is to be in construction this year and be in operation in 2025. Eric Spomer is CEO of Energy Source Minerals, one of three companies planning to draw lithium from the underground hot brine. Boiling brine already fuels 11 Salton Sea geothermal power plants, among them Hudson Ranch One. We developed a technology that is incredibly efficient at extracting lithium from brine. One of the hopes with lithium extraction is that it could bring vitality back to the Salton Sea and so much of what we're looking at all around us. Fewer than 10 years ago, this was underwater and people who live in and around the area hope that with more money into the economy, at least a fraction of the Salton Sea can be restored to its former glory. On the banks of the Salton Sea, I'm Mike Valerio reporting.